At first glance, Little Bohemia Creek Farm in Maryland looks like it hasn't changed much in decades. But when it comes to the new trend of precision agriculture, it's leading the way. Sensors on this crop sprayer can monitor individual plants as they pass over them, using different wavelengths of light to see how healthy they are. From this, they work out the most efficient amount of fertilizer to use. The nitrogen requirements vary throughout this field tremendously. Just the spot we're standing in, uh, you can see how there's, there's two and a half foot tall corn and, and there's also one foot tall corn. So as the sensor picks up uh, the different reflectance of light, it bases the nitrogen rate on that and um, applies different rates of nitrogen throughout the field. Tests are still underway, but early estimates see savings of around 10% in fertilizer use, combined with bigger crop yields. Local environmentalists also hope the effort will reduce the amount of fertilizer running into the sensitive Chesapeake Bay. When you get excess nutrients in the bay, it can cause uh, uh, pollution and algae blooms and certain things that uh, cause dead zones in the bay. And so the goal is to help balance the nutrient load out so we can grow our crops and still have a, a healthy bay. Such precision technologies can also be seen in the latest combine harvesters. These huge machines harvest up to 50 tonnes of wheat per hour. They've got a GPS system that can steer more accurately than a human driver, reducing overlap between rows and therefore costs. As well as barley, each combine collects a huge amount of data. Uh, this tells us how many acres an hour we've averaged while harvesting, how many pounds we've harvested from this field. Uh, and it's mapping the yields as in bushels per acre. This allows farmers to see how productive a field is almost down to the square metre. The data produced can be uploaded online, allowing a farmer to manage all of this information on a website. All his equipment's there, all his farm and field information's there. You know, a large equipment owner with a multiple pieces, he can actually manage it all from the desk. He can see it all. There is another way to collect this kind of data, of course, by taking to the skies. The University of Illinois is among organizations researching the use of drones in farming. They're not going to replace a, a, a on the ground person walking out across the fields, but they will let that person cover a lot more territory. Um, we're also looking at to the use of uh, multispectral imagery and infrared imagery so that we can uh, uh, look for areas of crop stress that we may not be able to see with the naked eye. For now, U.S. air traffic rules make widespread drone use impossible but many high-tech farmers are hoping these new eyes in the sky won't stay grounded for long.